Hey everyone, Audra Martin here with Ryan Harper. It's time to get to know him outside the game with another session of Catch with Audra. You ready to go? Let's do it. All right. All right, Ryan, what were some of your earliest memories of getting out on the field playing catch? Well, ever since I could walk, uh, Dad, he's always like had me outside. Like my brother, I have a brother two years younger. So he'd always get us both out in the driveway. We'd always do some sort of just playing catch, fielding ground balls. He'd hit us ground balls and we'd have like competitions to see who could go without messing up the longest, all that stuff. But having a brother two years younger than you definitely keeps it competitive in the house growing up. Did you uh, win that competition often? He actually got drafted by the Braves to play infield, so he was a pretty good infielder in himself, but I like to say I won more than I lost. So how'd you end up at Austin P? It's a school that maybe a lot of people don't know about, good old Tennessee. How'd you end up there? They should know about it. It's a great school. I love it. It's, uh, it's in my hometown, too. I didn't go anywhere for college. I just moved right down to campus from my parents' house, which was like probably 15, 20 minutes away, but it was easy for me. I grew up loving Austin P sports. But my dad went to Austin P. He was there in the late 70s to the early 80s. It was kind of cool for him to have me go there. Then two years after me, uh, my brother goes there as well. So I played at Austin P with my brother, and that's where my dad went. So all three of us, same spot. But it was easy for me to go to Austin P. I love it. Great school. Was there ever a thought of playing any other sport besides baseball? Basketball. I really loved basketball. Honestly, I was planning on going to play basketball in college instead of baseball. Then I started pitching more my senior year. and I figured it was probably a better route for me, but I loved basketball. I had a chance to go play at Austin P as well. Austin P just for everything. Austin P, <laughs> go Govs, right? That's right. <laughs> Who was your team growing up? In Tennessee, you're pretty much either a Braves fan or Cardinals fan or some other city that you might have family ties to, but I was a Braves fan, so I loved them growing up. We'd always go to games. Do you have a favorite player? Um, yeah, I, uh, I was a big Chipper Jones fan. That was, that was my guy growing up. And, I know they had a bunch of great players and great pitchers because, I mean, I loved Maddox and Smoltz too and all them, but Chipper was the guy that I'd follow most because he's a position player. He plays every game, so you sit and wait till he comes up in the lineup hoping he can hit like a home run or something like that. What's something somebody would be surprised to know about you? Oh, uh, I do like to read a lot. I love golf, but that's something that's not kind of shocking. I guess reading, that's pretty rare for people to do these days, unfortunately. I have noticed you reading before <laughs> games. I've always been wondering, curious about that. What kind of books? I like James Patterson's books. I like kind of creating a story in my head. Obviously, he's a great writer, so those are a lot of fun to read. How often do people think your name is Ryan? A lot. I, uh, anywhere I go, like a Starbucks or restaurant or anything, turns out my last name's difficult, too, because um, people think I say Parker. And in our bullpen, it's funny because we have Parker, so we got that confused a few times early in the season. It's like, all right, we're Harper or Parker? And my first name, that one's just lost. No one understands Ryan. I think I'm saying Brian or Ryan or Ron. So do most people assume that you were named after Ryan Sandberg? If uh, people like know baseball, they catch on pretty quick and know that I was. He's obviously a big name, a really good player. But were you named after him? I was named after Ryan Sandberg, yeah. If you weren't playing baseball, what would you be doing? Um, I'd probably be like the GM for the Titans or something. I'm just kidding. GM Not, for the Titans. Okay, that's no. right. You're I a love Tennessee the boy. Titans GM. I'm a big Titans fan. I love big the GM. Titans no, fan. Uh, realistically, I don't really know. I went to school for business, but I was kind of just, uh, once I got drafted with baseball, I kind of just stopped and said, I'm going to give him a baseball my all. And whenever it's done, I'll uh, approach something else. All right, we're going back to the Titans. What's your prediction this year? 16 and 0 would be awesome. <laughs> and I know they have, they could win every game. But you got to give them a few losses realistically. So I would say probably they're going to win the division at 12 and 4, beat the Colts twice finally, and they're going to play the Chiefs or the Patriots in the AFC Championship and win it on like a last second field goal and go to the Super Bowl. It's they're going to have a good year, is what I'm saying. I got faith in uh, my Titans this year. All right, you heard it first. I'm going to hold you to that. We'll reconvene at the end of the football season. Thanks for doing right. this, Ryan. Thanks, Audra.